Hey everyone, this is James Wilson with Paddling Innovations and MTB String Training Systems. And in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about the question of do clipless pedals increase your risk of serious injury? And uh, basically, a few weeks ago, I got forwarded some studies that looked at the increased risk of serious hip injury uh, to people if they were uh, involved in an accident and had clipless pedals. And every single one of these studies found that there was a significant increase in risk of hip injury to people that were in clipless pedals. And so what this means is that the, you know, one of the most frustrating things to me with this whole kind of flat pedal thing, and again, like I know I've got the catalyst pedal now, and so I have, you know, a horse in the race, so to speak, but again, anyone who's been following me for a while knows I put out the flat pedal revolution manifesto years before I had the, the idea for the catalyst pedal. And I was a flat pedal advocate for years before I put the flat pedal revolution manifesto out. So I have been in the trenches fighting this fight for, I mean, damn near 10 years now, probably. And one of the most frustrating things to me is that people say like, Hey man, just let people make their own choice, right? Like it's a, it's a personal choice. Let people choose what pedals they want. And because they think that like my stance is that, you know, oh, you have to ride flats. And my stance is not that you have to ride flats. My stance is that let's tell people the truth, right? Like I agree, let people choose, but tell people the truth and let them choose based on the truth. And there's a lot of lies and a lot of myths that surround clipless pedals that are told specifically to cast them in a better light to kind of help people feel like that's the choice that they need to make. But one of the biggest lies and the ones that makes me the, the, the most upset when I hear people say is that clipless pedals do not increase your risk of injury or that they don't increase your risk of serious injury. And it's just not true. Like any, any sane person who's really just going to be honest will admit that attaching your feet to your pedals is going to increase your risk of injury, especially in a crash. The, you know, you, you, there's no way that you can get your feet off the pedals as fast with clipless pedals as you can with flat pedals. It's just physically impossible to twist your foot and pull it out as fast as you can just pull your foot off, right? So you also have to, uh, um, you know, the, the, the idea that the, they don't increase your injury risk is just not true. And, but up to this point, it's been a lot of opinion, right? Like, well, you know, I've never gotten hurt and I don't know anyone that's gotten seriously hurt and, you know, you know blah, blah, blah. And so it's just opinion versus opinion. But like a lot of things surrounding this debate, there is actual science out there that, that we can look at, but the problem is the cycling industry does not like this science. The science does not back up with the story that they want to tell us. Because like I said, these are three studies. I've got them linked to here next to this video that you can check out yourself. And you can see what they studied and what they concluded. And again, all three of these studies concluded that there is an increased risk of serious hip injury to people when they crash with clipless pedals. And again, one of the things that they pointed out was that when you're in a wreck, especially a wreck that you didn't see coming, it's very easy for your body to get put into a position where you can't twist your leg or twist your foot to get unclipped. And so what you find is a lot of times people will say like, oh, well, I've never had a problem. You know, I've, I've never, you know, crashed and not come unclipped. And well, what they mean is, is that by the time they finished the crash, they weren't still attached to their bike. That at some point during the crash, their bike came off of them. But that's not the same thing as I was able to get away and get off of my bike like I wanted to, right? And so that's what happens is that, you know, there's that fraction of a second. You're wrecking and it takes less than a second to wreck. So fractions of a second count. And those fractions of a second can mean the difference between getting your foot off the pedal and not and just taking a hard fall directly to your hip and suffering a serious hip injury and not. And again, this is, this is a very real injury risk. So again, I'm not saying that there's no injury risk on flat pedals. That's Riding a bike carries an injury risk. Riding mountain bikes carries an injury risk. Riding BMX bikes, right? Like if you're gonna be an aggressive bike rider, all of these things carry risks, okay? Like the, so, but there's a, and how do you minimize the risk or, or, or do certain things increase that risk, right? So just saying that both pedals have a risk and then leaving it at that is being intellectually dishonest and not letting people make an informed decision. So letting people know like, hey, 
when you attach your feet to the pedals with clipless pedals, there is an increased risk of injury to the hips. There is an increased risk of injury to the head and spine. There is an increased risk of injury to the arms and shoulders. Like these are three areas that are at an increased risk if you are not able to get off of your bike or there is a delay in your ability to get your foot off of your pedal during a wreck. And so again, the science is out there. These three particular studies look at the hips in particular, but you know, we can't say anymore that they're just different, that flats and clipless pedals are just different and you know, one is not necessarily safer than the other because that's just not true, right? This, the, the, these, these three studies show that there is an increased risk of hip injury when you're clipped in in rec versus uh, not being clipped in, AKA being on flats. So um, again, my stance is not that you have to ride flats. My stance is let's tell people the truth. Let's be honest about what is going on here, about what the, what the real benefits are to clipless pedals, about you know, that you don't need to pull up on the backstroke and you don't need to push through the ball of the foot, and what are the real injury risks. And there are increased risks of injuries uh, to particular areas when you are uh, you know, clipped in. So tell people the truth, then let them decide. But I think that we all know why the clipless pedal industry and why the clipless pedal apologists don't want to tell the truth, right? Because they know that if they tell the truth, that more people are not going to want to ride clipless pedals. Like if you knew that you didn't need them for a magical pedal stroke and that they carried an increased risk of injury, the vast majority of riders would be like, dude, screw that. Like if I can be, you know, practically just as good and not have that injury risk and all these other things, then uh, they know that they can't. But you know, my, my stance is if, if, if you feel like you've got to, you know, fudge the truth and ignore science and tell lies in order to cast your pedal system in a better light, I mean, what does that say about your pedals and, and you know, and, and the people kind of behind it, um, you know, pushing it? And so, again, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. There is science behind this stuff. There are movement principles behind this stuff. Let's take a look at what they are. Let's discuss it and let's figure out what the best option is from there. But the cycling industry has got to get past this insane stance that it has, that clipless pedals are better, that there's no increased risk of injury from using them. All of these things are just flat lies, and they are bad for our sport. They keep people from trying our sport. They drive people out of our sport. And, I mean, all cycling sports suffer from this. So the sooner that we can get past this nonsense and just start speaking truth to each other, uh, then the sooner that the cycling industry can move past this nonsense and we can all grow and, and, and just be better, man, and everybody have fun and, and just, you know, that's what it's all about, man. We just all, you know, remember when it felt like when you were a kid, just riding around and riding was fun. And, and that's what it should be like. And, and you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, a lot of people out there aren't having fun and they're increasing their risk of injury and they're doing it because they're basically being told myths and lies and have truths about why they have to be on clipless pedals. So anyways, got any questions or comments about this, uh, please let me know. Leave them in the comments section. I'll get to them as soon as I can. You can also hit me up at James at pedaling innovations.com. Uh, you can check out the catalyst pedal at uh, pedaling innovations.com and uh, yeah, learn more about the science and the movement principles. And again, just, just the truth about what's going on so you can make your own informed decision and not fall victim to the lies and the group think. Like, I was, just, I was talking with my wife before I did this and we were, you know, laughing. Like, it's, it's almost like the cycling industry needs to put up a big sign. Like, you know, cycling industry, independent thinkers need not apply. I, like, it, it's just the cycling industry is, it does a great job of squashing independent thought. You come into it and you're very quickly indoctrinated into a certain way of thinking and and uh, um, told like this is it and this is how it goes and uh, um, so anyways let's see if we can uh, move past that but uh, well that's going to do it for this uh, video again if you guys got any questions let me know um, be happy to answer them always happy to help out uh, you can also check me out at uh, bikejames.com where I've got a good uh, bunch of you know training tips and other things that can help you with your riding but um, yeah I just want to help you guys have more fun on your bike Enjoy riding more, and uh, um, yeah, I guess I'll uh, talk to everybody next time.